Hello my wonderful readers welcome back Today we are going to read Pete the Cat Talon Short Trouble by Kimberly and James Dean Let's read them Pete is excited. His town is having a talent show. Pete loves shows. He loves performing for the crowd and making people happy. Pete can't wait to sign up. He knows just what he wants to do. He will play his guitar. Callie is going to dance. Alligator is doing magic. Gus is playing his drums. Pete sees a familiar name at the bottom of sign up list. It's Grumpy Toads. Grumpy Toad is playing his guitar just like Pete. Pete is worried. Grumpy Toad is his best friend. How can they compete against each other? On his way home, Pete hears music coming from Grumpy Toad's house. Grumpy Toad is practicing his guitar. Your song sounds super groovy, Pete says. Is that what you are playing in the talent show? Yep, says Grumpy Toad. I've been working on it all week. Neat, says Pete. I am playing guitar in the talent show too. I hope I can be as good as you. Pete goes to his house. He takes out his guitar. What song should I play? He asks himself. Pete starts to play. Suddenly, Grumpy Tot's music gets very loud. Pete cannot hear himself play. He Pete does not worry. He put on his headphones. Now Grumpy Tot can play as loud as he wants and Pete can still hear his guitar. But Pete still does not know what song to play. Pete decides to write a new song. He will show the judges that he has two talents. Pete tries out some notes. They sound great, but he can't come up with the right words. Just then Pete sees Grumpy Todd listening through his window. When Grumpy Todd sees Pete looking at him, he runs back to his house. Pete takes off his headphones. He goes to Grumpy Todd's house. Grumpy Todd is trying to write a new song too. Pete listen to Grumpy Tot's song. The lyrics are nifty. Pete pokes his head into Grumpy Tot's room. Your song is super cool, he says. Keep up the good work. Pete, Grumpy Tot says, you aren't supposed to be listening to me. We are competing against each other. Pete shrugs. I like listening to you play. Your songs are so good. Grumpy Tot smiles. Thanks, Pete. I like listening to you play too. I don't understand. Don't you want to win? Shouldn't you be practicing? Winning would be super neat, Pete says. But it is not everything. I just want to have fun. Fun? Grumpy Tot asks. Yeah, fun, Pete says. The room will be full of cool cats. I just want my music to make them happy. That's what music is all about. You are right, he tells Pete. I got so caught up in the idea of winning. I forgot why I even play guitar. Grumpy Tot smiles at Pete. Thanks for reminding me. 
Just then Pete has a cool idea. I wrote a new tune and you wrote a new words. What if we combine our songs? If we work together, our song will be the happiest thing ever. Yes, Grumpy Tot shouts, and we can be a team. Pete and Grumpy Tot get right to work. They put Grumpy Tot's words and Pete's tune together. Grumpy Tot and Pete practice playing their song together. They practice singing their song together. Friends are groovy, but Grumpy Tot and Pete. Pete was right. The song is super neat. Finally, the big day comes. Kali does bow it. Alligator pulls a rabbit from a hat. Gus plays a drum solo. Grumpy Todd and Pete are next. They rock out on their guitars. The crowd loves their new song. It is time to announce the winners. Kelly gets first place. Grumpy Todd and Pete come in second. Sorry, we didn't win, Grumpy Todd. Pete says. Grumpy Todd smiles. That's okay. We had fun, and we did it together. Peter Grease, having his best friend by his side, feels pretty neat. The end. I hope you love this amazing story. If you want to read with me again, see you in next time. So soon. Love you. Bye bye.